Hi everyone, this is Nagin and I'm here for Break Advice. So today we're gonna work on timing, yeah? Which is the concept that I would say you master your speed control, you know? So let's say we're gonna do like a very simple go down and then you go up, you know? So I would say the front sweep, then you sweep here into a hook, yeah? Super easy. So this is speed control fast, yeah? Slow, right? So it's pretty much basic in the same spot, but then you play with your timing. So the time is like, oh, slow, fast, right? So fast, slow, fast, light, yeah? So that's how you play. Just take any moves and you just play a different timing, you know? So you can speed it up, slow down, stop. You know, you see a lot of poppers, they do that constantly. We b-boys, we do more when we freeze and stuff like that. But constantly, you can be playing with the momentum, the timing, yeah, and the speed control. So one more time, very simple here. You go down, slow, hook, fast. Yeah, super easy. Now you go fast and then you go slow. Fast, slow, and then you run fast again. See, super fun. And you can do that to everything else, you know? Let's say you do a different concept. Let's say, okay, I'm gonna do a flip now, and then the flip, the flip is slow, but the power move is kind of fast. So you dance, you do the same, go down, pa, and then you hear, flip, power, whoa, okay. Yeah, got it? So you kind of like start shaping your timing. So see, the stop moments is very easy because I would say for whatever that you do, I would say I go slow, I go fast, and I stop. Like the stop is the fun part because you can't say anything. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing. So here, stop. I'm constantly like stopping, right? So my hands gonna be in this position, my face expression, my whole body like got the momentum, you know, like the pretty much matrix, you know, <laughs> matrix. So stuff like that. So the stop is just easy, it's just a point of focus and concentration, you know? Like, I might be looking at the camera, but deeply I'm like in a different journey, you know? So, yeah, and this is just how it is. <laughs> the very important thing, and I think apply for all of us, as a b-boy, I would say follow the martial art perspective. Understand how to breathe, inhale, exhale, respect your body so you don't get injured and stuff like that. So the martial art, regardless the, if it's Kung Fu, it's Capoeira or Jiu Jitsu, in art form, there's a discipline. So this is very important for you to really meditate on that level because it's ancient martial arts that is here to teach us, you know? So the way you breathe, the way you move your body, the way you relax yourself, your state of mind when you battle, your state of mind when you're sharing, your state of mind when you're teaching, you know? So all of that comes from a martial art perspective. In my case, is Capoeira and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Thank you very much. Break advice for make this happen. And for y'all watching, you know, keep, keep doing your thing, man. Keep inspiring. And that's what it is. This is a beautiful thing about our culture, you know, sharing is loving, you know. Peace. Not